from old customs to old crafts, and one with its roots in the past but an eye to the future is the traditionally British art of boat building. Now at Hamble in Hampshire, we take in just a cross section of the artistry that goes into the construction of a Firefly class racing dinghy. The layman usually visualizes boats built of stout timbers several inches thick. But in fact, these wafer-thin planks that go to make up the hull are of Agba veneer, a mere two and a half millimeters thick. From a master template or pattern, they're now trimmed and cut to shape in wads of six at a time. Over a mold, which has been accurately fashioned to the shape of the Firefly's interior, the hull is built. The first of three layers of veneer being fitted and stapled into position. There'll be 52 planks in all, but remembering the thickness of the veneers, it still seems rather delicate for the rigors of racing. At least it does until you've seen the other stages it goes through. The secret lies partly in the rest of the process, the second and third layers being glued on. In fact, as the second skin is applied, the staples holding the first are removed. This, then, is the basis of the shell. To make the shell even lighter and stronger, it is then baked in a special oven, a unique method that was developed during the war in aircraft manufacture. To do this, first a rubber bag is fitted over the mold, clamped down and a vacuum applied until it's stretched skin tight over every square inch of the hull surface. The whole unit is wheeled into the oven where steam heat of up to 100 degrees centigrade is applied for approximately half an hour. In addition to the main purpose, during this heat and pressure period, the synthetic resins used in gluing impregnate the wood cells to make the hull extremely resistant to water and, important in the tropics, to heat and termites. As a matter of interest, to test the value of this process, a firefly hull was once buried in mud for more than six years, during which time it was regularly covered by tidal water and exposed to all climatic conditions. Yet, when it was eventually brought ashore, cleaned, rigged and raced, it gained a second place. Anyway, when the shell has been taken out of the oven and removed from the mold, it's normally left to stand for about a week to allow final curing. Then it's given a trim up and the decks, buoyancy tanks, centerboards and the rest assembled. Finally, after a wood filler has been rubbed into the wood, the first of four coats of marine varnish is applied. Carefully brushed in and not sprayed, you'll notice, yet another indication of the personal touch of craftsmanship that is so evident in boats of this type. The sail is raised and the firefly is ready for her trials. Few other sights conjure up so much poetic grace and beauty, a fitting conclusion to the story of an ancient craft that will never die. <laughs>